And the teacher comes back to me and she says, Professor Kirkland, can you, can you help me? Like, like our next assignment is to have the um, classroom write narratives. And the narratives must have a beginning, middle, and ending. Do you have any advice? I said, well, be culturally responsive. Open up the genre. Allow them to write in genres that make sense to them. And the teacher did this. And Derek, who never wrote in that classroom, wrote this. U-turn left behind the sprawling on top of black back mountains, rivers that run deep like Sheba's queens, and she loves open pores, empty cups that run over. Hope like escalates that faint in darkness, that freeze in night, that frickin' morning, morning uprising, light-skinned white men, blues as my brothers, black as my berry, sweet as my juice, so you turn back to me, I return back to you, I die daily for you. Ooh, remember Derek didn't write, and he wrote this. So I left that school, I'm like, well done, Professor Kirk. My chest is out, I'm like, yes, I learned something. I gave somebody good advice. We got them, we got them writing. And then the teacher did this. This is a good intention teacher. She perceived that she was doing her job. When she struck a line through the U and U-turn, when she told him that his use of English was incorrect when he separated the ING from sprawling, when she corrected his use of pores, and I think that she should have been corrected. When she corrected his use of light, and when she told him he was lazy. Right, she perceived that she was doing her job. But as a result, it's had consequences on vulnerable learners like Derek. Derek doesn't write again. <laughs> 